Hi everyone, it's Tech Dad, your French Canadian tech reviewer. I have made multiple videos on the Dyson AM07 in the past. To summarize my thoughts, it is a good fan with a great design, but it is grossly overpriced. Today, I will show you why. This is my comparative review between the Dyson AM07 and the Honeywell QuietSet 8. I have chosen the QuietSet 8 uh, tower fan for this video because Honeywell is your big brand for household devices that typically sells good products at a good price. You can buy the QuietSet 8 for $65 US. The Dyson is sold for a whopping $300 to $400. Really, $300 to $400 US. It's up to six times more money. Let's find out in this video if the price is right. These two fans will fight on four different topics. Design, build quality, functionality, and performances. In the end, we will decide which fan has the better value. The Dyson fan now has an old design, but it's still beautiful. Dyson is using a patented technology that multiplies air by pushing a powerful jet of airflow through this little gap here. I will not explain the technology in this specific video, but Dyson is the only brand on the market with that design, with the exception of some copycat Chinese products. It's just a beautiful fan. You can buy it in multiple colors and I have the white and gray version. It fits very well in any room. The Honeywell on the other end is your standard fan. It's your standard Honeywell product. It's function over style. You can buy it in white or black. Uh, the fan is not ugly, but it's not beautiful. It is important to be able to clean the fan once in a while because dust will accumulate on these and it's so much easier to clean the Dyson fan. It's not even comparable. If you value the design a lot, the Dyson wins this category by a landslide. Now for build quality. Anyone who saw one of my previous Dyson reviews uh, knows how disappointed I was with the build quality of the Dyson AM07. Don't get me wrong, the build quality is okay for a fan, it's just a fan and Nothing is wrong about it, but for the price, I was expecting a lot more. I was expecting... I was not expecting to get a cheap plastic bill like that. It is made of that cheap and scratchy uh, shiny plastic. The Quiet Set 8 on the other end by Honeywell doesn't fare much better. However, it is expected for the price. It's 65 bucks. This is almost 400 bucks. I cannot evaluate the mechanical build quality, but the Dyson is warranted for two years and I think it's one year for the Honeywell. I've owned the Dyson for almost three years and I do have a weird noise from the bottom when the fan speed is at level three. I cannot judge my Honeywell fan as it is new. But the build quality is a draw between both fans. The third category in this combat between the two fans is functionality. Both fans have basically the same functions. On the Dyson, everything is accessible with the remote. By the way, the remote is magnetic and is stored on top. The remote is small and light. It reminds me a little bit of an old Apple TV remote. The problem is that you need a remote most of the time. The only button on the fan is almost on the floor and you can control functions like oscillation if I'm not mistaken. So the remote must not be lost. The Honeywell has a remote also, but it's so badly designed. But God, who designed this ugly brick? It's so much bigger than the Dyson because it uses two AAA batteries but Honeywell didn't find a way to put all the functions on it. But the Quiet 8 offers full functionality with easy to use buttons on top of the fan. The interface is easy to use and is situated where it should be, not at floor level like the Dyson. Again, I will call this category a draw. Dyson wins for the remote, Honeywell wins for the control panel. Final category is performances. This is the 
most important factor when buying a fan. You want great airflow with the least possible noise. That's it. This is what you want. You will expect the Dyson to win this category easily with a price of more than $300, right? I've built a simple test setup where I can measure the airflow using an anemometer and noise level using my iPhone. I am measuring airflow at a distance of three feet, almost one meter. Sound level is measured on the floor as I didn't want the wind from the fan to interfere with the microphone. I don't have access to professional equipment, so the results are not lab quality results, but they will show you easily which fan is the best. So the first graph is airflow versus speed setting. Both fans have similar airflow. The biggest difference is the two additional speed settings on the Dyson. It's capable of achieving better maximum airflow. As you will see later, this comes at the price of noise. Personally, I never use these settings when I'm in the same room as the fan, as it is so loud. So both have similar performances. You will expect the Dyson to be quieter, right? To have less noise for the, for the price if both have the same airflow. The second graph shows noise level versus speed level. The y-axis, this is vertical, is in dBA with a logarithmic scaling. The results are just dropping. The Honeywell fan destroyed the Dyson on all fronts. The better way to show this is with this third graphic showing noise levels versus airflow. It's incredible that a fan that costs a fraction of the price of Dyson can offer such better noise levels. At low speeds, the Quiet Set 8 by Honeywell is so much better, and these are the most important settings. It is the perfect fan to sleep without being disturbed. On this graph, you can also see the grinding noise that I have at setting 3. However, I do not have any problems at all at any other settings, and the results are valid. So the Honeywell Quiet Set 8 has just better performances than the Dyson AM07, both on airflow and noise level. Unfortunately for Dyson, more advanced technology on paper doesn't always result in better performances. So which fan should you buy? Do we really need to talk about value at this point? Here, the best fan is the cheaper fan. It's not about value, it's about buying the best fan. Even at the same price, the Honeywell will be better than the Dyson. At the same price, that's it. It's style over function for the Dyson. It's, it's beautiful. And you can, you can pay more to have that. And it's the only reason to buy it, really, to pay that price. I like the Dyson fan. But I had a great deal on it. Never, never, I will tell you that it is worth it to buy this at MSRP at $400. And I think I have shown you why in this video. So please, thank you all. If you're still there, please think about leaving a like. See you next time. It was Tech Dad. Ciao.